back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest has appeared in over 40 films. Now he's got the biggest role of his career playing opposite Billy Bob Thornton in the new movie, Bad Santa. Let's take a look. There's some lip on you, Mitch. Well, these lips were on your wife last night. <laughs> This movie is uh, is hilarious. It's a really funny movie. It is a mean movie. The relationship between you and, and Billy Bob Thornton, one of the things that makes it so funny is that you guys are just so mean to each other all the time. And apparently, you were even meaner to him in the movie than you needed to be on script. Is that right? Like, the script didn't call for you to be that mean, but you took it to another level. Yeah, because Billy Bob, he talked about my wife. You know? Oh, really? Yeah, he talked about my wife. He trash-talked about your, your wife yeah, to every, you? Yeah, every time I look around, he's talking about, yeah, me and your wife, we going out tonight. You know, she told you to stay at home. Really? You know, we going out. Yeah, I said, what? I said, all right, I'm going to break you off. Uh -huh. Real proper. <laughs> right, right. So he would do that, and that was his acting technique to get you so mad at him that you would really give it to him in the scene. Yeah. Wow. But, but he overdid it. <laughs> he overdid it. I don't play. Homie don't play that. Yeah, yeah. I respect that. Now, you were originally from Alabama, is yes. that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, paint a picture for us. Tell me about your family growing up Alabama. Well, it's my mom, it's my grandmother. But well, my grandmother was something else, you know. Uh, my grandmother used to love, she'd eat this ham. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, she'd look around and there was nothing to wipe her hands on. She'd call me over, rub that ham grease on <laughs> all over my face. Oh. And I'd go, Mama, what are you doing? Uh -huh. And she said, well, you know, it'll make you look good. I'd walk outside every cat and dog and chicken in the neighborhood. <laughs> they just following me. Come from miles around? I'm telling you. Uh-huh. And did you think for a while they just like me, these, uh, these animals? Hey, I thought it was something special. I didn't realize it was the ham grease. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah. Now, have you ever encountered people who, say, hadn't encountered a little person before and didn't know how to, how to react? Yeah, that was this cop. This cop, he stopped me in, in Georgia, and he pulled me over. He was about maybe seven, eight car lengths from me. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I was getting out of the car, you know, he was looking at my head up here, but no feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. And when my feet hit the ground, he didn't see no head up by the window. <laughs> and when I stepped out, he took off. He ran? He took off. What do you mean he took off? Like he got in his car, drove away? Man, he took off. Okay. And, and you know, in Georgia, they wear those big hats, like right. flying saucers. That hat went one way and he went up. <laughs> Don't let nobody tell you a Georgia cop can't run. This guy was 50 years old. Now, did you uh, eventually, uh, did he ever come back and, uh, you know, talk to you or anything? Or no? Yeah, that was the last. Yeah, he, he came back and uh, told me don't tell nobody. Really? Yeah. <laughs> he, he was afraid, huh? Right. All right, now tell me, I saw you in Jim Carrey's movie, the Me, Myself, and Irene. Yeah. And in that movie, you get to steal Jim Carrey's wife. Yeah. Was that a fun role for you? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a real good role. I mean, I didn't want to be bothered with the kids. I just wanted the woman. Right. <laughs> I mean, those were some big kids, you know? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you, you get the woman in the scene. Now, you had never, had you played a love scene before? No, that was my first time. I was very nervous about it, and I, I wondered, like, man... You know, I never done this before, but then I thought about, you know, I'm married. I mean, what am I talking about? Just go for it. Right. You know, and, <laughs> hey, she laid those lips on me, and hey, it was, hey, that was good. It was good, okay. It was good. And uh, how many times did you get to, to, to kiss her? Half a day, thanks to Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like on what he was just screwing up on purpose. Yeah, so you get he to... just kept screwing up, and he said, I, "I don't like the way I did that." I said, "You know what, Jim? I don't either." <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that one more one time. One more time. Now, uh, there's a lot of stunts in some of the movies that you've done. There's some stunts uh, in in this movie, Bad Santa. Do you do your own stunts? No, I have a fantastic uh, little person. She's a uh, she's uh, her name is Tanya Banks, mm -hmm. and and she's a little lady, and she's great. And she does the stunts for yeah, you. Yeah, she does the stunts. Have yeah, you ever look at stuff? Because I've always thought, like, when I look at movies and I see people doing stunts, I think, like, I would never do any of them. I would get, you know, just find some other red-haired guy, let them do it. I wouldn't do it. Are you, uh, you don't like to do it? You're afraid to do it? Or you just feel like, why bother? Well, you know, I'm 45, so that, that time is over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, that time over. never yeah. existed. Let me tell you. <laughs> 
<laughs> it didn't happen. The movie uh, Bad Santa is, uh, it's one of the, everyone says it's one of the funniest movies of the season. It's really funny. And uh, I hope you uh, come back soon with the next project. Oh, I you will. Do that? Very yeah. nice to have you All here, right. Tony. Tony Cox, everybody. We'll take a break when we come back. Jim Gaffigan's coming up. <laughs> <laughs>